Well, this is the sixth year that we have done the Student Achievement Awards, and really we want to put focus on the kids, not just their athletic accomplishments, but the uh, academics and what they're doing back in their communities. And anytime you sit in those rooms and you listen to what these kids have done in their lives, you realize that uh, uh, kids in America uh, are pretty much got their priorities straight. As you look around you in here, there are 16, 16 elite young men and women who have excelled on the courts, on the fields, in the classroom, and in their communities. Please stand and be recognized. She attends middle school leadership conferences. She's a Voted MVP for the 2010 and 11 seasons on her JV soccer team. It feels time kind of surreal because I really wasn't expecting it, but I mean, I got it anyways. My mom really helped me with it though. She's when I got all the letters of, from my coaches and teachers and stuff, so she played a big part in this. And if Caroline wants to be a doctor, she plays a, a soccer. I'm very honored to be even considered in the top four, so to win it was very exciting and I feel very honored. Well, I committed to the College of William and Mary. So I'm going to go play soccer there and then hopefully go to medical school after that. He's a sixth grader at Norfolk Academy. He's uh, got a 4.0 GPA so far. His favorite subjects are math and science and he'd like to go into We're design. looking to go out into the community and, and shed some light to uh, you know, some of the great accomplishments of these kids. And uh, I mean, they're, they're tremendous role models and we're always looking for, for more, more role models and that's really what Virginia Sports Hall of Fame does. It produces great role models for, for the next generation. And trust me, there are going to be a lot more downs than there are going to be ups. What happens after the downs is the most important thing to you, whether you're a female or a male athlete. What you do when you hit that wall and you think you can't go any further. If you quit, you only take it away from yourself. Uh, she told us about the ups and downs and that you had to conquer over the down parts of life. So just to strive and keep perseverance, keyword right there. He plays soccer, basketball, lacrosse, and cross country. And he wants to go into special forces someday, be an engineer or professional soccer. Uh, I have to thank some of the parents on my soccer team, uh, including Cecilia Ramirez. Uh, she's a parent of one of the kids on my soccer team. And she actually did a lot to put in a nomination and to actually type up an article that was in a Suffolk newspaper about me and do that. And also my mom and dad for putting together the application to send in. But I just want to say to the parents out there, congratulations. You have some terrific kids. Um, I served on the selection committee uh, to, to select the 16 young people that are, that are going to be honored tonight. And I have to tell you, I have never seen so many A's in my life. <laughs> what is so tough is you've got just three and four hundred applicants to go through and I'm glad that I'm not on that committee because those six seven people have to sit there and go through all those trying to come up with just four kids in each of those categories and you know like we said you, you pick one winner in each category but all 16 of these kids are, are winners and uh, every one of them uh, is, you know is going to be successful because uh, fortunately they've had people thus far in their lives that have guided them and directed them the right way. Andrew is a tad high, he's a 4.1 GPA, he's a math, uh, good math student, he likes, uh, he plays football and he wrestles and he wants to like, we'd like to be a military uh, officer someday. Um, after, I'm trying to go into one of the military academies, uh, preferably the Air Force Academy. Um, it's a great honor to win over, uh, I don't know how many people, but it's just exciting. 